Alright, welcome everybody. This is going to be a short stream or a short video on the creation kit and reworking precombines and previs for popular mods. So the mod that I have loaded right now, or the two mods that I have loaded right now, pop this up is Boston Frank FPS Fix and Concord Expanded. Alright, now you see below that I have Concord revised here as well, but I have to do these in order. So when doing pre-combined and previs inside the creation kit, it's important to have your load order set. And then from your load order, you're going to work down your load order to create individual compatibility patches using the source mod. So I made a backup of the mod and I actually put the previs clear out all the previs in Fallout 4 edit or test edit and then go back through set everything develop and then I go through and I create new previs based on my load order and on the, the mods that I have so this is a quick way to sort your mod order out it doesn't really work for other people's mods although I have created a couple mods that use previs and pre-combined in different scenarios from uh, vanilla game to vanilla plus DLCs plus Boston FPS fix plus some other mods in there and you it's no big deal um, so getting started here we're in the we're in the creation kit we're gonna look at um, down here and we're gonna see which files are initially disabled right so what I'm looking for and if I pull up the creation kit uh, or if I pull up Fallout 4 edit Pull that up real quick. I'm on my other screen, so if you don't see anything, actually, I'll just pull it over so you can see. Alright, so we'll go ahead and pull this up real quick, and it's on my other screen. I'll pull it over. So I usually use these in conjunction with each other. So I'll always have one loaded. Then when I go to save, I usually close down Fallout 4 Edit because it usually takes priority uh, when doing stuff. Right? So it takes a few minutes to load. We're going to go down here to Concord Expanded. We're going to check our world space, which there shouldn't be much in the way of this one. So we can see right here, Dremlin Diner is going to conflict. You can see I have better Dremlin Diner in here, but I'm not really worried about that because this is after uh, my mod. So I'm just looking at this one right here for Boston FPS fix. So we're going to do 13.3. That one's good. It's all vanilla. And looks like we're going to do 13.12. So 13.13 and 13.12 have conflicts. And we can tell because when I open these up, you'll see that not only that, they have a navigation mesh that's different, but I'll have to fix that later. But here we have some broken pre-combines here that we'll have to put back together. So we'll start at 1340. Now, the way I do this is a little bit different than the way they've done it in the past, right? So what I've done is I've created this. And what this is, this is a representation of every single grid that's in the game. So since we know we're doing 13s, and you can see I've already been through this at least once, I'm gonna I'm gonna be working in this six by six grid here, All right? So, or yeah, three by three, three by three grid. Go put a border around that so I know what I'm doing. So we're working down here. So I'm gonna drag this back over. We're gonna be looking at 1314. We're gonna be looking at 1313, 1312. So that's gonna cross us over to separate master cells right so <coughs> just a little background on this if you look at the way this is structured you can see emanating from zero zero down here every three cells is what I would consider a master cell so in the creation kit and I'll show you both ways when the creation kit rebuilds precombines no matter where you have this thing at as long as it's within this cell it'll always center on this cell and then build from that cell out one, out one, up one, down one, 
and then in a, in a square. So if we're doing 15, 18, they'll capture 15, 21, 18, 21, 18, 18, 18, 15, 15, 15, 12, 15, and 12, 18, and 12, 21. They'll capture all of those. So that can get pretty big when you're doing with dealing with files, especially when we're working with Boston FPSX, right? So knowing that, we're gonna jump in and we're gonna do we're gonna do it the easy way. We're gonna do it the easy way first, and then we'll go and we'll do it the hard way. So we're gonna go 13, 13, or minus 13, 13. And it'll take us out here. Give it a minute for it to load. On my supercomputer. Yeah, I do recommend not doing this on a uh, potato. And I have a lot of windows open, so I'm probably using 100% of my... Uh... All right, so this is Drumlin Diner. So I'm going to end up having to rebuild this anyways because my mod uh, Better Drumlin Diner is on here. But what we're going to do right off the bat is we're going to go ahead and grab this. And we're going to go over to World. And we're going to generate pre-combined pre geometry for current cell. So everything we're going to be doing is going to be on current cell because I want to constrain it to 6 by 6 squares. All right, so we're going to click yes on that. So this part doesn't really change. All right, and after each one, we're going to go ahead and save our plugin. Go back over here. Oh, because I got it open in the in this in the, in this one. So thirteen, thirteen, and thirteen, twelve are the only ones we need to do. So thirteen, thirteen. Save it again. And 13, 12, which is right down here. Nope. All right, and that's done. So this is where it's going to differ. So for 13, 13, and 13, 12, if I bring my thing back over, I can see that for 13, 13, and 13, 12, right, which are the two cells that I just did, highlight that one for you. And highlight this one for you. So these are the two cells I just did the pre-combined geometry for. I am only going to rebuild for 12, minus 12, 12. And the reason I'm going to do that is because it will only capture from minus 13, 13 over here to minus 11, 11. So it's only going to capture these nine cells. It won't touch anything else up in here. So I know that my other mod makes changes to all these other cells because this is the graph that I use for my mod. And I know it, it, it does things in these cells, which is why I have them rebuilt. So you can see when I rebuilt it, I rebuilt these, I rebuilt these, and I rebuilt these, but it didn't touch this one or this one. So the advantage to doing this is if I start here and then I recenter on 15, 18, it gets all of these. It does every single one of these cells, and then I have to hop back down to here, and then it does all of these down here to, to 12, to 12, 8, 11, 8, which is a whole lot bigger of a file. So we're not going to do that. So I'm going to navigate over to 12, 12. I'm just going to center my screen here on 12, 12. Kind of bring it out a little bit, and I'm going to go visibility, and I'm going to do generate visibility for current cell only. I'm only going to do 12, 12 because 12, 12 at centers, it will capture 13, 13, 13, 12, 13, 11, 12, 13, 12, 12, 12, 12 11, and so on and so forth. I hit save in between. And then I'll do visibility for pre-combined for the current cell only. And then what we'll do while we're over here. All right, so that's done. I hit save on that. We'll open it back up, up in Fallout 4 Edit. Let's grab this two real quick, just to make it quicker. Man, I swapped, I swapped to 3, 2, 1. It, it doesn't really matter which one you use. So. All right, 
And if we go back down, well, I don't want this one. Our world space, it's still building. Give it a second. Just use the other one. Alright, so it's finished, so we'll go down. It should have updated those two cells and those two cells only. So here's 1313. You can see it's got the new date timestamp there. And then if we go back to, and I'll go ahead and push this over this way and we'll pull this up. All right, so if we look at this, we should see changes in 1213, right? No, that's not gonna work. Okay, 1213, it redid, it did the previs, but not the pre-combined, right? 1313, it did both, right? And then my other cell that I did was 1312, it also did both, right? Because it recombined. But all the others that were in that cluster, it only updated the previous timestamp. So it only did the previous for them. So it's not overriding anything. It's just making it compatible with the Boston FPS. All right, so here it shows the new combines that it put in for this one, so 1313. It shows 616, so it added new combines in here. All right, so that's, that's the easy way. It only does the specific cells, and it only affected from here to here. Those are all the cells that it affected right there didn't affect anything up here. I don't have any additional bloat. So I go over here and I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to open up a new new window. And we're just going to take this to the desktop, create a new folder. I'm going to call this test mu new and I'm going to grab my viz folder. I'm going to move it there and then under meshes I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to move it in there. All right. So now I want to open when I put these those are all the files we're going to have, right? So I'm going to go properties and I have 11.3 megabytes, right? So Call that 11.3 megabytes test. All right, so we'll go back over here. I'm going to get rid of this extra PS4 folder that I don't need. And then we're going to go back and we're going to do the exact same thing on 1313 and 1312. All right. And we're going to do it the other way. So we're going to go world, pre combined geometry for current cell. We're going to click yes. All right. We're going to click save. Saved. We're going to go down here to 1312. Do the same thing. Oop, it's saved. Didn't mean to do that. Current cell. Click OK. Click Save. And now this time, I'm going to go back to the original cell I started on. Right? I'm going to start on 1313. And this is the way that you've seen when they do it online. Um, on some of the more popular guys, there's been blogs and everything else they say this is the way you do it so you go visibility for all loaded cells right so automatically it jumps to the nearest cell to 1512 right minus 1512 is where it jumped to which is the next nearest master cell right it's five steps over from zero in threes right and you'll see how much longer this takes right how much longer this takes so it's going to go to 1515 next. Now remember, it's not just doing minus 1515. It's doing the nine cells around minus 1515. So, and it's going to go out one, up one, up one, over one. So it's going to go in a big square. And it's going to do a total of 54 cells. So what this is going to do in visibility, it's going to do the visibility for 54 cells. And you'll see this will take a little while, and we'll probably cut this out. So while that's working, you'll see it's doing 1515. All right, so it's done on that one, and we're going to go ahead and oh, our generator pre-combined facility for all loaded cells. 
and it'll start on that. So it starts at minus 15, 12. All right, here. It'll go 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 here. And it'll go three over from that. So I'm not even hitting. So say I started here. I'm not hitting any of the cells that I would have edited over here. I would have to come over here to 15, 18 to do 15, 18 just to capture all these cells. And then it has come back here to 15, 9 just to capture these cells without doing any overlap. going yep so we're at minus 12 minus 12 you see it go through six of these before we're done and then we'll compare the file size and you'll see the difference and why um, the smaller method of compatibility of just doing the master cells uh, and then the master group cells just makes it so much easier and so much lighter of a plug-in not only that you you actually get a little bit better compatibility because you're not doing a large swath area of pre-combines without regenerating the Geometry. All right, so it's done. We have save. All right, let's just save the plugin. All right, saves all those. We're going to go back over here to our other ones, and this time we're going to go new folder. I'm going to go catch me two, and we're going to grab our viz. Nope, just the viz. And then set our meshes. We're going to grab our pre-combined. All right, and then we're just going to delete this one. All right, and then we're going to take a look at this one. All right, this one's 14.3 megabytes. So you're essentially saving about two megabytes. Well, about about three megabytes, because this one's 11.3, this one's 14.3, right? So when you're looking at the size of the files, now, I didn't change a whole lot in there, but imagine that you had to change 10 or 15 different cells inside there. And then you have to generate the previs for all those cells. If you do them in nine by nine blocks or by master cells, it makes a much smaller file. So let's take a look at what that looks like inside the plugin. And you'll see inside the plugin, it'll be it'll be even more of a mess, right? So let's go ahead and open it up here. And I'm using 3.2 just because it's it's easier. So we'll grab FPS. Concord expanded. We'll open these up. That's fine. Let it build. It's references. Really, really, really slow today. All right, there we go. Finished. So now you see, you remember how we looked at it the last time and all this stuff was green. Every single one of these has been updated now. So you can see from 1115 down to 1611 all has a new timestamp on it. Every single one of them, right? And there's even some here that don't have any changes to it. There's no drop down here, right? So I would have gone through and done all these because they were done as well. But these ones here, nothing was done to those. They were just updated timestamp. So they're captured in that previs file, right, by this timestamp. And there's, there was no changes to the file. As when you saw before, um, it only did nine, nine, nine blocks. So this one here is uh, what a ton more blocks. This even gets down into, into some of these, right? So it's a ton more blocks. It's a ton more file size for not much more compatibility because now the next time I go over and I do this Concord area or the Starlight Drive-In area when I do my Drumlin Diner, right, for my other mod to make it compatible, if I was to do it this way, I would have all those files all over again, right? Plus some because I know that mod is bigger than this one as far as uh, as far as the area I've got added in there. It would just make for a much larger file. So I've got some cleanup to do on these things, and then I'm going to go through and 
do these things for real on my actual Fallout. All right. Where did I do with it? Yeah. Backup plugin. There we go. And I grab all these. the files in the destination and that sets me back to normal all right that concludes this one it's a short one uh, I'll render it get it put up on uh, YouTube as soon as I can thanks